I guarantee you something here, man. You're not going to want to give this thing away. With more than 58 cars, Danny Coker is well known for his appearance on the American TV show Counting Cars and his shop Counts Customs. Although the show ended in 2021, Danny's career in car restoration is far from over. But do you know why he quit counting cars even after it reached such amazing heights? Stay till the very end of this video to find out. Danny Coker is popularly referred to as The Count. But do you know the real reason why he's known as The Count? Well, before rising to fame in the automobile industry, Coker played a few characters on the local Los Angeles TV. One such memorable character was a vampire named Count Cool Rider, which gave birth to his nickname. He has a gothic and a dark vibe even when it comes to cars. It looks like his love for gothic style and classic horror films started at a very young age. Danny's father was from a musical background. This inspired Danny to pursue music too. Who knew that our beloved Danny from Counting Cars had so many other talents? He has an active band called Count 77 that has a live show scheduled on the 31st of December this very year. Coming to his journey in customizing cars, Danny worked on a ton of cars even in his teens. His family moved to Los Angeles in 1983. There, he opened up Count Customs. Danny worked on all sorts of cars. From vintage cars to modern muscles or even sports cars, he can customize anything. But Coker is selective about the projects that he takes on. He chooses his projects based on their quality, authenticity and other practical issues. Looks like he makes the right choice by choosing quality over quantity. Coming to his car collection, the legendary 32 Ford Roadster, also known as Vamp Road, acquired by Coker and his father way back in 1983 during a trip to Florida. The 1971 Eldorado Convertible is a unique one in his collection because of its stunning gold colour. Danny calls it the Pimp Mobile. One of Coker's favourites is a 1955 Chevy Gasser. It's known for its heavy-duty power and its amazing design. Even the 1955 Dodge Viper is an absolute beast on wheel that combines raw performance with its breathtaking looks. Another noteworthy car in his collection is none other than the 1966 Mustang GT350. This is a timeless piece in Danny's collection that leaves everyone in awe. Which of these designs is your personal favourite? Let us know in the comments below. After running successfully for a decade, Counting Cars ended in 2021. Their viewership dropped from 1.3 million in 2012 to 480,000 in 2019. During this time, there were many allegations on the show about fraud and embezzlement. Moreover, Danny had a lot of responsibilities. He ran a restaurant and a bar. He was constantly working on new car projects. It's believed that he decided to quit the show to focus more on these other aspects of his life too. Though it isn't certain what exactly led to the end of the show, I think these factors were the clear reason why. Even after the unfortunate end of the show, Danny is thriving in his life. He's actively participating in his band, running a bar named The Count's Vamped Rock Bar and Grill, and a tattoo parlour called Count's Tattoo Company. And let's not forget his pride and joy, The Count's Customs. He's always working on a new project and challenging himself to become better. Do you think they should restart Count's Customs? Or do you think Danny is better off without it? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.